In this Hindenburg ABC tutorial, we will now export our finished book. We have created a book that is now synchronized with the audio. And this is just what we want. Obviously, in this case, it's a very short book, but we'll get the general idea. Now, to export it, we can do that in different formats. We can export as DAISY 202. We can export as EPUB. We can export for NLS, National Library Service, in a DTB format. And we can export an audiobook. Let's begin with exporting as DAISY 202. When exporting a DAISY 202, we need to create a folder. Now that we've created a folder, we just say choose, which means that we're choosing this folder. And within this folder, we will get all the files that we need for the DAISY 202 book. Let's just try that. Here we've got the progress bar showing how long it will take to export this book. If we now open our file manager and look into the folder that we just created, we can now see that we have all these files. We have the actual MP3, we have the SMILE files, the NCC files, all the files needed for a DAISY 202 digital book. Now let's try to export as an EPUB instead. Choose EPUB. In the export menu, we can give the book a name. We can choose a folder to place the EPUB file in, and we can just say save. Again, we're converting to MP3. We can see the progress here. And now when we go into a file manager, we can see that within our folder here, we have the EPUB that we just created. Exporting NLS for the National Library Service. Let's try this one. When exporting for NLS, there are some mandatory fields that we need to fill in. This is where we get this warning. If we see the details, it says, please do remember to fill in these fields. OK. So we can have a base file name, a narrator, that will be me. DCB publisher, in this case, is also me. Now, when we choose export, we are now asked to choose a folder. I can either choose a folder that's already there or create a new folder. Call that the rest of like that. And now that we've created a folder for the book, we can just choose that folder and we begin to export. See here that we're exporting in a 3GP format, which is what the NLS library needs. Now, when we open up in our finder, we can see that we have a no DRM folder with all the files needed. And we also have a folder with the WAVE files. Last thing that we're going to export is an audio book. Depending on how we set up a book export, we will either have audio files according to headings or audio files according to time. In this case, it will be audio files that are approximately one minute long. Just the same as these markers before, as we sh went through in the previous tutorial. So if I say choose now, we're going to export as MP3. And now if we open up our file manager, we can see that we have all our audio files that are approximately one minute long.